Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to Memory Melody of Morphology. What are we going to do today, Zua? Okay, so before that, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Zua. I am Muhammad Raka. Okay, can you can you guys guess today what are we going to do? No! no. no. Okay. So today, we are going to accompany you today to this talk show, which is about morphological analysis on history by One Direction. Wow! wow. Do you like One D? Yes, I like One Direction because the song is fit my ears and good to listen to and my favorite is Night Change. Okay. What about you? Uh, mine was uh, Truly Madly Deeply. Okay. Okay. So, before we start, I'm going to read you guys the agenda for today. Okay, there are four agenda. The first one is guest star introduction. The second one is song introduction. Third one is explaining the material about this song. And then the last one is lyrics analysis. Okay, since you guys, uh, can you guys see the first agenda? Yeah. Yes. 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 So actually, we're not just going to be the two of us today. Yes. We have a very special guest. Yes. Okay, please welcome, welcome Mr. Mr. Deddy Sulaiman. Today, I'm great, thank you. What about you? I'm very yeah. excited about today. Okay, yeah, that's good. So do I. Mm. Okay, so what do you uh, wear with your outfit? Yeah, um, uh, this is uh, based on the deal. I have to uh, wear uh, white or cream or yes. chocolate brown. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. It's matched with us. Yes. Okay, yes. chocolate okay. or brown. Mm -mm. And then next one, uh, would you mind if we read you some information about yes. yourself? Yeah, please. Okay, Mr. Daddy was born in Bandung mm. on December 29 mm. in 1979. He is a lecturer at English Literature Department at mm. State, Univers State Islamic University of Bandung. And yeah, and uh, he has been teaching English and linguistics since 2002. Wow! Mm. wow. Years. Yeah, okay. years. And besides being a teacher, mm. teacher, he also a lecturer, a musician, and mm. also a traveler. Is traveler. it true? Yes, that's yes. right. And uh, mm. since you are a musician, mm. what uh, what instrument do you play? Um, actually, I play saron. Oh. Uh, mainly, I play saron. Uh, but now uh, this is hard for me to leave the saron because it, this is very heavy. Uh. So for today, for you, I play bass. Wow. Wow. Mm. And you also a traveler. Traveler, yes. yeah. So which country you have visited? I have visited uh, five continentals wow. of the world so that I have to finish. Uh, based on my dream, because uh, the world contains of five continents, so I have to finish the five continents. That's my dream. Oh. So, um, so when someone asks, uh, "What is your dream in this world?" So my dream in this world is to go to five continents, and then the last it I have to um, handle my akhirat. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Next agenda, yes. we are going to read about the information of the song. Okay. Okay. So the title is History, mm. and then the artist is One Direction, released in 6 November 2015. Mm. The genre is pop, written by Louis Tomlinson, Liam Payne, and Julian Bunetta. 
from mm. the label of Columbia Records mm. by the album of Made in the AM. Mm. Okay, so before we start, can mm -hmm. you please tell us mm. the difference between history and story? Okay, that's a good idea because this is morphology, so yes. you ask a story and history. You know, in English pronoun, we have his, like his and her. And then in the past, I think uh, the story belongs to men, only men. Yes. So, you know, like before Kartini, a uh, woman just only in house. But now, yes. there are many women here, many girls here. Uh, you know, that is the participation and there are many women who has the position for today. Like Menteri Keuangan, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, many other uh, public figure. So that's why, probably based on uh, story, that is history. Mm -hmm. So now you have her story. <laughs> you have the, the name for yeah. this is her story because not not only his, his anymore, but mm -hmm. we have her story. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's the difference between the story. The story is uh, the neutral one, and history is belongs to man, and her story belongs to woman, <laughs> probably. <laughs> okay. okay. Mm. So do you do you know one direction? Um, probably that it was two years updated. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. I don't know uh, uh, all at once, but. Uh, one direction but because only you you request the song i have to memorize i have okay. to exercise my bus uh yeah thank you for your uh, choice okay mm. next one okay next slide is background story his story mm. was one of the one directions last singles before they decided to go on hiatus following the release of made in the am mm. in 20 and 15 the song reflected the end of their era as a five member boy band after mm. Zayn Malik left the group in oh. March 2015. Mm. The inspiration for the song came from long journey the band has been on, including their relationship with their fans and the challenges yeah. faced throughout their career. Oh, wow. I see. That's the story. Yeah? Yes, mm. it's about the story. Not his story. The story, yes. not his story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. Mm -hmm. Next slide is the theme and the meaning of the song. Mm. His story is a song that has a theme of nostalgia and friendship. Mm. The song also expresses their gratitude while giving the message that even though they will be going separate ways, the mm. memories that have been created will not be forgotten. Mm. For example, relics like you and me got a whole of life history, yeah, history. describe how they created many moments together that will be remembered forever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have to know the story of the song. That that is the theme and meaning. So uh, when you know that morpheme is the smallest unit of meaning, we know the whole meaning. So that when you sing the song, you know the meaning with the deeper meaning. Okay. Okay. So that's it. The information of the song. Mm -hmm. And right now. It's not the end, guys, because mm. we have something special for you. Mm. Do you know what is it? No! So, it's a performance from oh. Classy, Classy Band. Band. Yeah. 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 Band. Please, welcome to the show. Yeah. yeah. You gotta help me. I'm losing my mind. Getting the feeling you wanna leave this all behind Tell me we're going strong I thought we were holding on As we know that I'm preaching This is cool No more screaming and I don't know what to do Tell me we're going strong I thought we were holding on As we 
together. What do you think of the performance? Yeah, that's uh, nice. Very nice. You have a cheerful face. <laughs> <laughs> you also play a bass, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your choice. So that's I have to memorize. I have to exercise. This is uh, your era song. I don't know what direction. So that the, uh, we are learners. We have to learn together. Mm. Okay. Okay, next agenda, mm -hmm. Mister. Mm -hmm. So we are going to explaining about the morphological material, mm -hmm. about free morpheme mm -hmm. and bone morpheme. Okay. So in morphology, there is a morpheme, mm -hmm. and in morpheme, there is a free morpheme and bone morpheme. Mm. Would you explain to us what is free morpheme and bone morpheme? Okay, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, actually, morphology is one tool in linguistic. Uh, the the tools is how to analyze language uh, this is not the meaning that you uh, know the uh, morphology so that you can learn english but uh, we have to analyze the english using morphology and in morphology as you said we have uh, lexical and functional uh, it, it consists of free and bound morphem the free morphem that is the root form or this is free because we cannot divide the morphem into the smaller unit uh, anymore so that is free and then uh, bound morphem that is how the morphem must be attached uh, to the free morphem that it has the meaning uh, uh, it cannot um yeah it cannot be the free morphem because it bound to the root form okay, mm. okay. does it make sense for you yes. yeah and is it divided by lexical and functional yeah lexical and functional because in lexical uh, we have like the noun verb adjective and adverb but in functional like conjunction preposition uh the word like and so if someone says n what do you mean by n that is uh, functional the function of n is for parallelism you and me and mm -hmm. if i say you you know you you me yes. me but n there is no meaning yes. okay, no meaning just n what do you mean by saying n that is functional so functional doesn't have the meaning without any other like okay. Mm. okay thank you mister mm. okay next schedule we are going to do okay. a lyrics analysis mm. okay okay here are some of the lyrics mm -hmm. you can see everyone mm -hmm. yes. 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 Can, yeah. can you explain <laughs> whether the color word is a free or a bound morpheme sir okay so you have this uh gada Gada uh, yes. consists of gut and ta. Gut consists of uh, get, get and pass. pass. Yeah, get and pass. pass. And then losing. How do you sing losing or losing? Mm. Losing. Losing. Uh, losing. Losing. Yeah. Uh, that is the apostrophe uh, means the could be ug or up. Yeah. Losing. Yeah. So losing consists of lose and ang and then getting also uh, we have to differentiate between uh, losing and getting whether both of them are in but it has a different role in losing this is uh, present continuous but keep getting after keep we know we have to uh, put the gerund right so getting here is gerund but losing here the simple present Wana is from one and two. We're going. Going is from go and ing. Mm -hmm. We were holding. Were. Do you know how many morphemes in were? One. Mm -hmm. One or two morphemes? Yes. Absolutely. Two. That are R and past. Okay. Holding from hold and ing. Aren't from R and not. Mm -hmm. And then to this slide? Yes. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, no, they don't teach you, yeah. In morphology, we have morphophonological analysis that is the intersection between morphology and phonology. So uh, in uh, morphology, we have you, but that is the change. 
you and ya yeah. sia yeah. not sia yeah, but sia yeah. oh, okay. see you from see you and it uh, become sia ya yeah, ya yeah, is morphophonology and now my heart's breaking heart consists of heart and us us is possessive and breaking from break and ing, ing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next. next slide okay still yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, okay uh, after I share about uh, morphophonology we have morphosynthesis morphosyntax morphosyntactical or morphosyntax because you and me yeah, you and me in English we have you and I you and I you and I but yeah. this is you and me what is the difference mm. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you and me as the object and you and I as the subject uh, you and I uh, you, we have to go you and I but okay uh, you and me uh, there is subject here you and me you and me as the object oh. God is from get and past then cool. could okay we have two differentiation between uh, could here uh, in morphology you know that could consist of can and past But in sociolinguistic, could also use as um, how to be polite. If I ask you, can you uh, take me? I can ask you, can you take me? But from you to me, this is not can, right? Okay. Uh, Cheryl, could you, could you explain could? So in the word could, it consists of one more fan. It is about politeness. Mm, okay. Politeness. Probably this is not about uh, past tense. We could be uh, that is politeness. Good. Greatest yes. is um, superlative. Yes. Yeah, you know that. Great and greatest. Seen consists of two morphemes. See and past yes. participle. Yes. Okay. Uh, so is past, but seen is past yes. participle. Then uh, forever. Forever is one word. I think this is not for and ever. Uh, this is called by compound words. Compound, compound yes. word, forever from for and ever, but uh, it integrates to be one word. Yeah, all sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, all consists of uh, plural, rumors and fights. But sometimes all consists of a uh, singular, like all I need is you. Is not are all i need are you not are but is all i all i need is you all that is all but uh, it refers to singular but here all of uh, after of we have to be plural rumors fights make it out alive make it out alive okay this is a morphosyntax okay mm-hmm. that's it yeah okay do you guys understand yeah Thank you. <laughs> so that's it our uh, morphological analysis on this song for today have a big applause for okay. this thank you so much Mr. Reddy for Any a great time. explanation about time, the gentlemen. morphemes mm-hmm. And, and I hope today's talk show will be useful for you guys mm-hmm. for the viewers mm-hmm. and for us also mm-hmm. okay yeah. so that's it for us Don't forget to don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this video. Thank okay. you. <laughs> mm. Okay, see you. We're signing out. Yeah. Bye. Bye.